people are always asking how my staff and I are always in multiple places and multiple times and how we get all of this done. Reminder to the bad guys. You're welcome. Thank you. Here at Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted, we're always monitoring social media. We're always looking out for those wanted persons and bad guys. And we couldn't do it without your tips. So bad guys, remember, there's always more than one of us. The new year's arrived and 2014 was a great year for Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. However, there are still some cases that we need your help on. Burglaries, storefront break-ins. In August of 2014, several businesses were burglarized by the smashing of the front door glass. In each case, the burglars entered and ransacked areas before fleeing. Surveillance photos in the area showed two individuals, a white male, thin build, possibly six foot tall, and a second white male who was on a bicycle. We really believe these guys are local. Please, if you get a chance, review the footage and let us know. Richard J. White Jr. White, along with a second individual, was charged with the July home invasion of a residence in Chester, where one individual was struck in the head with a baseball bat and suffered a fractured skull. The victims could identify the suspects and warrants have been issued. One of the subjects was arrested in a vehicle in Graysonville in August. Information we've received is that White fled to North or South Carolina. However, recent reports are placing him back in the Maryland area. White is a 28-year-old African-American male, 5 foot 9 inches tall, 150 pounds. He has his hair in dreads at times and has several tattoos on both arms and GVS tattoo on his abdomen. If you have any information on White's whereabouts, contact authorities as soon as possible. This is one of those cases that really we need your help on. The female bank robber for Bank of America. In April, this female went into the Bank of America in Stevensville and implied that she had a weapon. After fleeing the bank, tips led investigators to a possible gray or silver vehicle and an African-American male that was her accomplice. If you have any information on this, contact authorities or remember you can always send us that anonymous tip. Glenn Martin Morgan. We profiled Glenn Morgan in 2014 and we did receive several tips but he's managed again to elude law enforcement. He eluded them in the jurisdictions where he was reported to be. When the warrant was issued in 2009, Morgan was over $50,000 behind in child support. Morgan's a white male, 51 years old, six foot, 175 pounds, with brown eyes and brown hair. Tiffs have placed him in Northern Anne Arundel County and Baltimore. Let's start the new year right, and let's take this deadbeat dad off the streets. This is one case that we do need your help with again, the Royal Farms machete robber. Being at local businesses, he's the talk of the town, and I guarantee somebody out there knows something that can complete this case and get this guy arrested where he needs to be. In December, this guy robbed the Royal Farm store on Route 213 near Chestertown, twice in two weeks. Both times he entered the store on the midnight shift armed with a machete. Witnesses say he's about six foot tall and a skinny build, possibly white or Hispanic. We need to catch this guy before he strikes again and hurts someone. Take a good look at his clothing as this may be the tip that we get from you that helps us identify him. James Vincent Colicchio. This guy is listed as a missing person since November of 2013, after it was reported that he left his pets unattended. He was living at his workshop on 4-H Park Road near Queenstown when he just simply disappeared. Tools were left in the weather while working on a car. Food was left to spoil, and there was no activity on his cell phone or any of his bank accounts. At this point, we do believe that there was foul play, and this is very possible. Searches have been conducted by search crews, cadaver dogs, and area ponds have been checked without any success. Since going missing, he's failed to appear on a minor charge, and now there's a warrant for him as well. If you have any information on Colicchio, I'll give you his description, your urge to contact us. James Colicchio is a white male. He's 59 years old. He has gray hair, green eyes. Vitals list him as six foot one and 210 pounds. Again, we need your help. Vehicle theft suspects. This is probably the number one call for service that we get. Like in a lot of jurisdictions, Queen Anne's County has been hit by numerous thefts from vehicles. Here are several persons of interest and vehicles that were captured on surveillance cameras 
while these perpetrators were using stolen credit cards. These photos aren't the best, but that's what we have to work with. Take a good look at them because you may be able to recognize someone that will lead us to an arrest. One of the most important things that we can stress in law enforcement is please take the time to remove all the valuables out of the car, including loose change, cell phones, etc., and make sure you take the time to lock your vehicle. Tommy Dwayne McDays. On June 15, 2014, deputies respond to a residence on Perry's Corner Road in Graysonville for a domestic. On arrival, the victim reported that her ex-boyfriend Tommy had showed up at 2 o'clock in the morning acting intoxicated and attempted to get her inside the home. After Tommy left, she decided to flee to her mother's residence. As she was backing her car out of the driveway, Tommy returned, pouring a jug of gasoline on her car and tossed a lit cigarette onto the hood. Investigation showed that Tommy had purchased gas and cigarettes a short time before the second incident. Tommy's a 33-year-old African-American male. He's six foot one inches tall, 185 pounds, with a last known address of Bats Neck Road in Stevensville. He's local, somebody has to know something about his whereabouts. Any information, send us that anonymous tip. Winchester Liquor Store Robbery. This perp was wearing a cloth mask with eye holes cut out and displaying a weapon when holding up the female clerk at Winchester Liquors. He also pointed the pistol at an unwitting customer as that customer entered the store during the robbery. The robbery occurred on December the 26th around 10.30 p.m. The suspect was last seen running on Evans Avenue towards Main Street. We've received tips on this, but we need you to continue to provide us with information. This suspect's local, and this is one suspect that you can help us capture. Joseph Thomas Taylor Jr. Here's another deadbeat dad who failed to appear for a contempt of court hearing a couple of years ago. Taylor's in his early 50s. He's listed as six foot, 245 pounds with brown hair and hazel eyes. Let's get this guy off the street. His last known address is 7768 Sourback Road in Pasadena, Maryland. Be sure to check out our website for more information on these profiled fugitives and other wanted persons here from Queen Anne's County. My staff, Dale Patrick, Christy Condi, they've been working diligently and very hard to make sure that Friday fugitives are posted, Wednesdays wanted are posted, and that all the information that you send us for tips is all pulled together so we can keep Queen Anne's County a much safer place by taking these wanted persons off the street. If you have any information about these wanted people or unsolved cases, please contact the Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office at 410-758-0770 or email us at sheriffinfo at qac.org. We also recommend you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. With the tips we get from the viewers, we're hoping that some of the Queen Anne's County's most wanted get to experience this.